Welcome back to Harper's Car Detailing. In this video, I'm going to talk you through how I look after matte finished paintwork on this Arbarf 695 Piposto. If you're working on gravel, it's always best to move the car onto a mat. That way, when you're spraying the wheels, you eliminate the risk of spraying the gravel onto the paintwork. As this is predominantly a track car, the wheels were heavily saturated in iron filings, which are created from when you apply the brakes. To help clean the tyres, they're sprayed with a citrus-based degreaser. As you can see, the iron remover is now starting to work as the brake dust is dissolving into a purple liquid, which is easily rinsed away. As the wheels are practically clean from the rinse, all that's needed is a blanket of snow foam. The tyres are then scrubbed with a brush and then followed up with a microfiber to ensure that they're squeaky clean. One thing to remember is that the cleaner the tyres, the longer the tyre dressing will last. Another thing to mention with paintwork, especially matte paint, if you have anything such as bug splatter that's hard to remove, rely on the chemicals, as if you keep scrubbing at that area, you're essentially polishing the paintwork, which could leave glossy high spots.
Now that the citrus degreaser is dwelling for roughly five minutes, I like to polish the exhaust tips. When washing the matte paintwork, try and use a pure shampoo with no conditioners or waxes, as you don't want anything to enhance the overall gloss of the paintwork. If the wing mirrors allow you to do so, don't forget to clean behind them. Now that the car is washed, it's time to remove a few minor tar spots. Again, try and rely on the chemicals to do the work instead of scrubbing the paintwork.
the lower section of the car is sprayed with snow foam to help rinse away any tar remover that's left over. This car was ceramic coated roughly three years ago and there's still traces of the coating today. The car is then dried with a twist and loop microfiber drying towel. If you have access to compressed air, this is also great to dry the car. The tyres are then dried with compressed air, and to give the car the just detail finish, the tyres are dressed. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, drop me a message in the comment section below. I've also left a link in the description to some of the products I've used in this video. And here's a couple of photos of the car when I originally detailed it three years ago with the original wheels.